Hi everyone. What am I planting in the garden today? If you want to see what I'm planting in the garden, keep watching this video. garden friends it's Chris from gardening at the Simon Getty North while my husband's preparing our potato bed to plant potatoes in the ground I thought I would work on getting my onion sets planted I have some red and I have these yellow I got a bag of them from a, a local nursery here um, up in Rose City um, I bought a bag of each. They were only a dollar per bag. So I thought, well, hey, what the heck? Let's try it. So today I'm going to show you how to plant these onion sets. I'm going to put them in my raised bed garden here next to the asparagus and uh, we'll see how it goes. So the first thing you want to make sure, and I'm sure, you know, most people know that these are a bulb here. And you can tell the, this is the roots down here and this is the up, you know, so you'd put it in the ground, you know, with the roots going down into the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start placing them in there. And then um, we'll cover them up and give them a good watering and pretty much wait for them to start sprouting. Let's get started. Here you can see how some of them have already sprouted in the bag. The red one, I think I have another red one that has sprouted. So I just scattered them around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place them not too close to the asparagus and give them enough room you know, to be able to grow bulbs, because that's the whole point, is to grow big onions. Let me get on the other side. And you don't want to get too close to the sides. The closer together, the smaller the onions will be. You can get these onion sets from pretty much any local nursery garden nursery or even a big box store i've seen them there as well and get a close-up you can see the onion sets are in so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bone meal on the top Add some potting mix. And just cover them up. Be careful not to uh, pull any back up when you're trying to cover them. And gently cover with the, the top soil it has some mulch in it. You can also do this in a garden container. You can get those grow bags. They actually have like little doors on the bottom of them. 
and uh, you can harvest from below. So this is definitely something you can do with container gardening out on your balcony or your porch or a raised garden bed or in the ground. I switched to raised gardening bed this year. All right, I want to give it a good watering. So give the asparagus a little bit of water too. Need to get my yardstick out of there. So after a good watering, all you got to do is pretty much just leave it alone. It's kind of a no muss, no muss, no fuss garden. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the like button if you like this video. And have you planted onion sets before? Leave me a comment below and let me know what kind you planted. Mine were the yellow and red onion sets. So I hope you like this video. And if you haven't become a Simon Getty subscriber, become a Simon Getty subscriber today. And again, you can try this in container gardening as well. Like I said, they have those container pots, those fabric pots that have the Velcro that open up at the bottom so you could harvest the onions from the bottom. You could do potatoes that way as well. I'm going to be doing a video on planting potatoes in the ground. My husband's getting the, uh, the bed ready, um, rototilled up from a spot that hasn't been used as a garden before. So um, it's outside of my regular vegetable garden. So we're gonna try growing potatoes this year. But I have the asparagus in, and now I have onion sets in over here. And um, yeah, we're, we're doing good. We're actually earlier this year than last year as far as getting things planted, but we do have a frost warning tonight. But these things over here will be good. Um, as long as the asparagus hasn't sprouted yet, it will still be safe from the frost. I will need to cover up my tomatoes and my peppers tonight and probably my ranunculus. It's a little sketchy, but hopefully soon we'll be out of the frost warning nights. Live, love, laugh, and garden. Hope to see you at the next video. God bless.